Wow, this is really, really phenomenal. It's a vlogger. Everybody is driving extremely well behaved. This is not Manila. This is just like two hours away from Manila. I'm really loving this place. What is up guys and welcome to Subic Bay. As you guys saw in yesterday's vlog, Nelly and I drove out to Subic Bay today because I got to get my first experience on the journey of becoming my uh, pilot's license here in the Philippines at a flight school that is located here in town. And Nelly and I thought we'd take the opportunity to explore a little bit of Subic Bay today before we head back to Manila. And uh, yeah, because we will be coming to Subic Bay quite often now, it seems. We had such an early start today. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. <laughs> we got up at 4.30 this morning. Yeah, 4.30 and now I'm, I'm craving coffee like crazy so I'm still a little bit tired but but why are you tired I flew an aeroplane <laughs> that is very true but I filmed you flying an aeroplane <laughs> that is also very true yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay. laughs> <Planes. laughs> plane mic is born Aviation mic. Aviation mic. <laughs> Motor mic and aviation mic. By the way guys, this here is the exact coffee machine that we used to have. We had two of them and I miss it so, so much. Wow, the coffee here is really, really good. So this is VSMRY, which is visionary. It's like yeah. an abbreviation for visionary. It's, it's so funny because Mike, when we were navigating here, Mike said, what's the name of the coffee shop? And I said, Wismarn. Snurri? Snurri? Wismarn? And then Mike was like, V, I was like, what? S, is this, R. Is this a coffee shop from Iceland? <laughs> but yeah, so, it's a Top coffee. Did not expect to have a great coffee shop like this in Subic. Yeah. So now we're just going to hop into the car drive around Subic Bay, see what there is to see, discover what there is to discover, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Thing I noticed right away and this is a prime example of it this is a four-way stop street and whoever comes first drives first in the order they arrived and it works everybody is driving extremely well behaved I feel like I'm driving in Stockholm <laughs> and I'm like I'm driving 20 kilometers per hour like slowly cruising this is not Manila this I am far from Manila. I have to get used to this kind of driving because Manila, it's like, it's like... It's chaos. Offense. It's left and right and from above and from Offense, <laughs> offense is the best form of defense in Manila. But here, look, everybody's stopping and everybody's coming to a complete stop at the stop sign, including me. We don't uh, have to go on any. Straight. straight. See? Everybody, mm -hmm. this would work in Manila as well. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it, people. Let's make it happen. <laughs> it's like I'm at a driving school exam. Hands at 10 to 2. Okay, watch this guys. Put my car in reverse. No hands. Woo! 
Woo. Oftentimes I can't do this in Manila because people are driving around me so crazily that I can't just take the time to do this. All right. Now put in the drive. See the steering wheel? It's magic. It's magic. I don't have to do anything. Skadoosh. <laughs> Perfect parking. Noise. Parking stopped prematurely, it just said. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Recording stopped. Civic Bay seems to be very, very different. Um, Mike actually said it on point. You said it looks like a suburb in the US. Yeah. So it is. I mean, this area reminds me a lot of Florida's suburbs. I think it looks a lot like the US because it used to be a US base here. Yeah. So that kind of gives that whole vibe. Everything's designed very similar. But what's crazy is it's so quiet. It is very quiet. Like I can whisper. So nice. And what I love about this area in general, we're surrounded by mountains, yeah. ocean, palm trees, coconut trees. Mm -hmm. So nice. Sailing boat. <laughs> Um, there was one thing that popped up everywhere. Um, well, two things. There's this little cove and then also this lighthouse here that we have in the background, which is actually a hotel resort. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, with a pool and palm trees and the ocean in the front and the beach over there. Hello! Uh, wow, this is really nice. Yeah. This is so nice. It is. This is just like two hours away from Manila. Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. So I actually chose to come here because I read there is a little walking area that we can walk. Esplanade. Esplanade. And apparently there are also live music nights here sometimes. Not sure if it's still the case uh, during the pandemic. Wow, this is really, really phenomenal. So uh, it's so nice to see mountains around us and the ocean. And it's actually, it's actually a really nice beach with a lot yeah. of palm trees such a great vibe and, and I love the combination of having mountain and ocean yeah. like in one spot and the, it's like a proper proper bay it's like protected yeah so and nice. now it's a little bit dusty over there but those mountains are super super green and look very saturated <laughs> so it it almost looks unreal yeah. when you look at it Lily means misty not dusty. misty dusty yeah misty <laughs> sorry misty third language <laughs> Um, but this area with, with the water here, look how calming. And the lighthouse, wow. Okay guys, we are going to be coming to Subic Bay quite a few times in the coming weeks and months, hopefully. Yeah. So please give us your recommendations in the comments. Coffee spots, food spots, accommodations. Let us know the best spots in Subic Bay and also around. like things around Subic Bay that are in close proximity that we kind of include in a trip let us know because I'm really loving this place okay so we decided not to do too much today we just wanted to get a first impression of Subic Bay and I'm quite impressed and surprised how beautiful it is I mean I, I know we keep saying that but this looks so different from what I had in my mind I don't know if, if that's you know what I mean yeah yeah so this this area reminds me of West Palm Beach mm. 
like the pastel colors in the yeah, back kinda. and then the palm trees mm. and it's just so nice to sit here by the beach maybe we will take a walk but yeah that's we're going to keep it very easy today um, because as Mike said we might come back to explore more and take more time and spend some nights here and I also found an Airbnb that is pet friendly so Peanut is going uh, is coming with us and yeah oh wow so nice <laughs> Um, Elon Musk, if you're looking for part of your Falcon Heavy uh, <laughs> rocket, it's it's here in Subic Bay. It's huge! What is this? That really does look like something from space. Because that's 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 carbon compositive, carbon composited mirror. Uh, I can't pronounce it. Huh? There's a second Interesting. one. Interesting. There's another one. And a lot of tires. A lot of tires. Anybody <laughs> need some spare tires? Yeah. <laughs> Subic Bay. Get yours today. Yeah. Look at all these little happy clouds. Oh, oh, Nelly, Nelly, what? Nelly. What? We have some tracks here. <laughs> Looks like Adidas Ultra Boost, size 12 and a half. It's a vlogger. <laughs> As we were driving to the flight school, we saw there was a huge um, like yacht club by the bay with lots of boats. <laughs> so I guess a lot of people love to, you know, just take the boat and go out on some of these islands. And I saw on uh, when I was doing some research that there are some really stunning places here very close by so i think we're going to try and organize something for next time uh, it would be so nice fun fact is whenever you see a city with a, a big yacht club you know that either people really like clubs or they really like yachts <laughs> but how picturesque does this look this is so pretty looks like a painting it does little clouds yeah. Uh, how's it called? Bob Ross. Bob, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Happy painting. little cloud. Yeah. Guys, the sand here is super duper soft. Yeah. And it's like a, it's a black sand beach. So there's dark sand and there's a little bit of light sand mixed in, but it's so soft when you walk on it. And it, it looks, feels so good. And it looks uh, glittery. Yeah. Like super, like a Listening. lot of. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a lot of glitter going on here. By the way, guys, have you seen that beach in Japan where the sand is made up of little stars? It's mm. crazy. I saw it yesterday. It's insane. Really? Yeah. Wow. Ooh, look at that sailing boat. Next one on the list? Yes. <laughs> For now, I prefer the sailing boat in the in sky. In the sky. But your brother has a sailing. Yeah, my um, brother likes to sail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when we visited them in Switzerland, it was so cold and rainy and we went sailing and we were soaking wet, but we had so much fun. So we have to head back home to Manila because we left Peanut at home. So we need to make sure we will be there in time. Otherwise she will get very grumpy, upset <laughs> that we left her. So She will uh, become very difficult. <laughs> No, Makulit, naughty. Yeah. <laughs> and we definitely will bring the drone next time because. The yeah. Nelly said 90% rain. I checked, it said 100% rain. Yeah. So we didn't bring any drones, we didn't bring any swimming attire because we didn't think we'd have a little bit of sunshine, but now it's nothing but sunshine. It's yeah. amazing weather. So next time we're going to. Um, drone a little bit show you the surrounding and on our way back to manila i'm going to give you a few um i'm going to show you a few bits of our drive because it's such a nice mountainous area
By the way guys, uh, we're really sorry if we are a little bit uh, exhausted. exhausted, slow today. Um, we had a very very early start at 4.30, I only slept one hour um, because we wanted to head out to Lamina Aviation. Um, as you know, Mike is looking for a flight school to start his pilot's license and uh, I think uh, we can make it official. Oh, I already said it. We made it official that Mike is also now uh, not only motor Mike but also aviation, aviation Mike. Mike. Mm -hmm. But I definitely wanted to show you the sunset on our way back. I think it's going to be a very, very pretty one. Yeah. So enjoy. 